So NVIDIA's had quite a run, but it's faltered a little bit. It's your view that investors need to start looking beyond the AI boom. Where do you see money being made? See, I think NVIDIA's made a great move. Supermicro's made a great move. These stocks have gone up five, six times from where they were a year ago, and that's wonderful. But I think the ancillary businesses around them are the places that you can really make some money. You should start to look at it. I think, how do you power these massive data centers? You're going to power them through wind? Sure, wind, wind's great when the wind blows. You're going to power them through solar? Solar's wonderful when the sun's out. But the most efficient, greenest way to actually power these massive data centers is through nuclear. And you're starting to see stocks like Constellation Energy, Talon Energy. These stocks are up over 100% in the last few months. And I think that's because people are starting to realize this. And I think they actually have more to, more to go. Yeah, and people like Sam Altman and Bill Gates are also investing in nuclear energy. Are those companies going to be tradable? Can people buy those stocks? They can't buy them in the public markets right now, but they can buy them in the private markets if they're an accredited investor. And I think what they're doing is actually brilliant. What they're doing is making small nuclear reactors that are going on point of a property, right? It's going to be right at the data center. And these will be able to power that data center directly without having to use the time and the waste of our United States grid and infrastructure. I think that's going to be a massive business. Sam Altman himself put $375 million into one of these recently, and Bill Gates has put more than that into that sector. Nuclear energy has been around for a long time. It's efficient, it's cheap, uh, but there's a lot of fear around what could happen if things go wrong. What's happening in AI making people sort of forget those dangers and just being like, let's invest in nuclear? No new nuclear reactor has really been built in the last 30 or 40 years, right? It's this technology back when televisions were cabinets. And now you're getting people like Sam Altman that are forward thinking and Bill Gates, who's also a pretty forward thinking guy, realizing if you're going to have this much power, how are you going to do it? It can't happen through re normal renewables. Are you going to build more coal plants? Are you going to build more fossil fuel plants? No. Nuclear is probably the best probably the best chance we have to power these. And I don't think it's going to slow down anytime soon. So I do think people are saying, maybe we're not going to have another, uh, another Three Mile Island or another Fukushima. But I think if we're having these right small plants right at point of contact, I think there's a lot of opportunity. Yeah, so you mentioned Constellation up like 100% over the past year. You still think there's money to be made in brands like that? I do. I think when you look, there's two aspects to nuclear. You have regulated nuclear, which is like your Duke Energy. They can't jack the prices up. They're controlled, right? They're a utility. But then you have people like Constellation, which actually spun out of a utility, and they can, they can have their prices go with demand. And that's why they've done so well. But I think for a more sophisticated investor, an accredited investor, he might want to invest alongside someone like Gates or Sam Altman in some of these private companies because those could have that 10 to 20 times return if they can get, gain access.